The fear of human opinion disables. Trusting in God protects you from that. Wow. Better post that content next year. Hey y'all, welcome to 31 Days in Proverbs, day 29. It's Dilly. People who hate discipline and only get more stubborn. There'll come a day when life tumbles in and they break. Then it'll be too late to help them. When good people run things, everyone is glad. When the ruler is bad, everyone groans. If you love wisdom, you'll delight your parents. So destroy their trust if you run with prostitutes. A leader of good judgment gives stability. An exploiting leader leaves a a trail of waste. Flattering neighbor is up to no good. He's probably planning to take advantage of you. Evil people fall into their own traps. Good people run the other way, glad to escape. Good hearted understand what it's like to be poor. The hard hearted haven't the faintest idea. When a leader listens to malicious gossip, all the workers get infected with evil. The poor and their abusers at least have something in common. They can both see their sight, God's gift. Leadership gains authority and respect. The voiceless poor are treated fairly. Discipline your children, you'll be glad you did. They'll turn out delightful to live with. If people can't see what God is doing, they stumble all over themselves. But when they attend to what he reveals, they are most blessed. Y'all better take heed in 2024. It takes more than talk to keep workers in line. The words go in one ear and out the other. Observe the people who always talk before they think. Even simpletons are better off than they are. If you let people treat you like a doormat, you'll be quite forgotten in the end. God lands you flat on your face. Humility prepares you for honors. The fear of human opinion disables. Trusting in God protects you from that. Wow. I better post that content next year. Everyone tries to get help from the leader, but only God will give us justice. Good people can't stand the sight of deliberate evil. The wicked can't stand the sight of well-chosen goodness. Listen, I know there was a lot to unpack in that verse. Take heed to what it's saying. 2024 will be your best year. See y'all tomorrow for day 30. Bye.